Hey everyone, welcome back to Great Northwest Weaponry. This is Thomas, and today we're going to be taking a look at a classic. This is the Colt Police Positive. I just acquired this gun. I'm very happy about it. I've wanted one of these for years. This uh, this one is chambered in 38 S and W, or I believe uh, Colt's term for it was 38 Short Colt. Uh, you can identify, as it says, 38 on the side of the barrel, and they don't put S and W anywhere on there because they didn't want their competitor's name on their gun. Kind of understandable, I guess, but considering Colt was dominating the market at the time, I don't see why it was necessary. A uh, couple of uh, little historical facts about this. They were produced from 1907 to 1947, and during that time and beyond for a while, these were by far the dominant uh, police weapon on the market. More police were using these around the United States than any other gun by a pretty significant margin. There are a few different variants of this gun. Uh, they come in 38 Smith & Wesson. Uh, the Colt Police Positive Special is in 38 Special, and that, uh, according to some things that I've read, was Al Capone's favorite sidearm, was the Colt Police Positive Special. His was, uh, supposedly was nickel-plated with uh, either ivory or pearl grips. But uh, anyway, we don't have one of those, but maybe someday. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's a neat little gun. It's uh, just, you know, six shots uh, out the side, style of revolver you just bonk bullets gone i've got a holster that fits it actually that i was uh, gifted by my uh my then boss actually but let's go ahead and uh put another six through it and then move over to the gun table and take a closer look at it and some of the markings and such it's kind of difficult to fish the bullets out of that thing but you know, whatever nice to have an extra six on hand Now, one thing I've noticed with this, uh, we actually uh, have a, a barrel sight checker of sorts, a laser pointer that attaches to the end of the barrel, courtesy of my friend Donovan. Thank you, Donovan. Not a problem. And uh, this gun, it hits in a weird way. So when looking down the sights, I'm sighting to the very bottom of the blade, and I'm still hitting uh, rather high. So uh, just a quirk of this particular one. That's not going to be the same in all of them. Uh, and this is just, you know, Iron Sights, old gun. This is like, a, I, I may have mentioned this already. Uh, this one is dated 1926. I was able to check the serial number in Colt's database. So let's go ahead and put another six through it. And uh, let's, uh, Doctrine of the Time was one-handed shooting. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're taking a closer look at this. It's a very small revolver. Uh, my pinky pretty much hangs off the edge and getting a high and tight grip is very difficult to actually reach the trigger. I almost can't get my finger out. Uh, part of that is because of the uh, Western style grips, the way they're sloped. So I kind of have to hold this like so. You know, we've got nice textured walnut grips, little Colt insignia on both sides. Another insignia on the frame. Colt Police Positive 38 stamp, and again, if it just says Colt Police Positive 38, that is referring to 38 Smith & Wesson, or like I said earlier, I believe it's called 38 Short Colt was their variant of it back in the day. It's a lot like 38 Special, but it's considerably shorter. And that is one thing, if you see a Colt Police Positive Special, the gun is going to be a little longer because of uh, making accommodation for a longer cylinder. Otherwise, the guns will be very similar. There's not an awful lot of markings on this. You've got all your patent information stamped on the top of the barrel here. Serial number can be found inside uh, the yoke of the gun. And when you're emptying the cylinder, you just kind of hit that, but you don't want to be too aggressive as to not damage the yoke of the gun. These are old. Uh, like I say, production uh, ended in 1947. So, yeah, just using Magtech. Uh, let's see what uh, we're going, 146 grain. Nice plinking ammo. It's been doing good for me so far. This has been the first day that I've taken this gun out. That's kind of becoming a trope, taking videos of guns on the first day I've ever used them. And uh, as I mentioned already, the sight on this, your sight picture is, you're going to be aiming about like that. You almost see the, the end of the barrel at the end of the sight to actually hit accurately. And even with that, I'm still aiming high to hit the target. And that's only at about 10 yards is where I'm shooting this. So... Colt Police Positive, ladies and gentlemen. 
a classic revolver from a formerly great manufacturer. Uh, I, I hate to even say it, but the Colt has fallen off of their highs as of late. Uh, you may have heard some of the problems that they're having with the release of their uh, reissue of the Colt Python, which is really sad to me. I love uh, the idea of them re-releasing the Colt Python, but hearing some of the uh, trigger lockup issues and and other things that I've heard from uh, just from kind of the unveiling of the gun, it's it's very disappointing. But it, back in the day, they were unequivocally the the go-to revolver from like the 18 like 60s or 70s, pretty much until the 1960s to 80s even maybe, depending on you know what model you're looking at. And so many iconic guns were made by them, the police positive being one of them, and of course the 1911 and the single action army, there's just, the list goes on and on. But this currently is the only Colt that I own, uh, it is the smallest revolver that I own, that probably won't stay that way for long, I've got more revolvers uh, on the docket, so to speak, one that I'll actually be owning here in about two weeks, uh, very excited to get that one, World War One, Austro-Hungarian Empire, keep an eye out. But, uh, you know, uh, another couple things with this, uh, they're featured in movies very often just because of the, uh, the amount of them that were made and therefore the availability, but also the, uh, just the look of it. Again, it's an iconic gun and, uh, movies like, uh, the original Death Wish, this was the gun used in that movie. So fun little fact. Let's go ahead and put a final cylinder through this and we'll call it a wrap. All right, thanks for watching. Again, this has been Thomas with Great Northwest Weaponry, and we'll see you next time.